Just before we kick off on a painted day, I just thought I'd say something. Um, we had a few little technical problems because I've never done um, recording three separate streams and stuff. Um, so we lost one of the cameras, and there's a bit of uh, a few artifacts appear on the screen, and the sounds a bit up and down. So uh, apologies for that. So uh, let's get on with it. Morning everyone, uh, here we are, it's another paint a day and this, this paint a day is called the Three Seasons, I wonder why, but well, we've got a special guest with us today and uh, he's, ne he's never been on before, he's a bit camera shy, um, you might know him, it's Mr Super Chippy, say hello Mr Super Chippy. Hello Mr Super Chippy, you alright? Yeah good, you? Yeah I'm fine, and he's off, we haven't even, we haven't even kicked in and he's off. <laughs> I don't know. He's off. This is the problem. You see, he's, he's an international businessman, and obviously, you know, he's, he's linked with asylum war gaming and everything. He's sort of, he's never off the phone. So oh, that'll be the next million pound order. Right? You can almost guarantee it. Do you reckon? Yeah, definitely. So, what? How, how are you painting our Julius today? I am painting Julius as a. I'm going to paint him up as a tribune, so I can. Use him as a command figure for my Roman army. Right, you're a bit jerky at the moment, but that's fine. It's probably the recording stuff, but never mind. Shall we wait for Nick to come back, and then we can ask him how he's painting his Julius? Yeah. And meanwhile, what I'll do is I'll show you. I'll show. I'll show. What I'll do now is I'll show everybody what we're actually painting. So uh, run BT. Here is what we're going to be painting today in this uh, paint a day. It's uh, the Giants and Miniature series. Uh, Julius Caesar from War Games Illustrated and there he is in all his glory and here he is in all his lead I've all got the same one um, I got him a couple of months ago um, just before my birthday party to be honest and um, there you are, that's what we'll be doing he's a lovely miniature, he's very nicely cast there's not much flashing on him at all um, yeah, not much else to say about him really yeah. All right. So let's see how we get on. Are you back with us? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this threesome. I'll do the gags. <laughs> yeah, we're painting uh, Julius Caesar from what? What's the manufacturer? I've already told everybody what it is, but it's. All oh, right. I've been on the phone. On the phone. Yeah. 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 All right. Shall so we get cracking? Yeah. Let's yeah. get cracking. Good stuff. Nicholas. Are you eating your dinner? I'm just having my my, uh, my brunch. Your brunch. Got me a bottle of pop, a soda, as the Americans call it. Before before we go any further, make sure you're on your best behaviour. Yeah. yeah we have, because obviously with Owen, we have to be very very sort of um, behaved yeah, well. with him being middle class and all that and posh yeah. in his in his Stroud mansion. Posh. I could do posh. Can you? I I say. I, I've just finished painting Caesar, and I think he's a spiff, very spiffing indeed. There you go. Whoop. Finished painting him? No, not yet. Hang on, where am I? My uh, tablet. What's that for your brain? Yeah. Make it work. Try and make it a bit bigger. You call me big headed. <laughs> no, 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 just stupid. I suffer from gigantism. Why? Well, is, it, is it just full of air? Mm. Is that why your head swells when it gets hot? Because the air inside <laughs> expands. It's still a pickle. Anyway, let's get serious now. Owen, how are you getting on? Really good. Matt will to run us through some of your technical technical details. He's been what he's been doing, you see, is he's been sort of harping on about his painting methodology and his colour choices and why <laughs> he's choosing particular colours and why he's doing this, that and the other. Would you like to enlighten everybody on that? Well, it's just with this figure. I got I as I'm not doing lots of them, I've got to work out which paint to put on first. And I've, I've already ballsed it up twice. Because first of all, I did the cloak, but I hadn't done the armour. And I need to do the armour before I do the cloak. Well, what do they say? They always say, start from the lowest point first and work outwards to the highest point. Yeah, but where the cloak wraps around and the colours I'm doing it, it doesn't necessarily mean that, well, 
yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> but yeah, it's getting there. It's just a learning process, isn't it? So it'll be finished soon. Yeah, it won't take long with these. It's quite a straightforward model. How are you getting on, Nick? Uh, well, I had to let you into a bit of a secret. Um, I actually started mine about four weeks ago. Did you? <laughs> No, I did actually start painting the figure. I, I base coated the figure and um, highlighted it, ready for starting putting the base colours down. But I had to con construct the base because I wanted to use some water products. And if I would did that today, it would have. It takes roughly about a week, at least a week, for it to go off. So um, I thought I'd get the base done because it's on like a, a bit of a not much. It's on a bit of a scenic base, the cork base that Tristan hates. So um, yeah. Tristan's not a big fan of uh, basing things on court. Are you, Tristan? Love you. But, um, yeah. Tristan won't actually get this far in the video. He'll just sort of... Yes, he will. No, I'm in, I'm in it. So he'll watch it all the way to the end. Why don't you, Tristan, my sexy fox? He'll wait, he'll wait for Nick with his Crayola crayons doing his artistic bit at the end. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see Tristan in that video where he's sitting behind a log fire? Yeah, Mr. Fox. He thinks he's a James Bond villain. He needed needed a big white pussy sitting on his lap. You're trying to be crude, aren't you? What? Talking about cats. What's wrong with cats? <coughs> <coughs> you right? You right, mate? Got something yeah. stuck there. No. Anyway, right. Let's bring this to order. We'll crack on now because he's Nick's eating his dinner and Owen's choking on Nick's words. Not dinner. It's my brunch. Dinner is at dinner time, which is in the evening. I think I think we go over this every single time, don't we? That's where you're wrong. Lunch is at lunchtime, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. Dinner is at 5 or 6. Supper is at 9 or 10. No, no. Tea is at 5 or 6. Yeah, tea can be at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock. If you want to bring the middle class in, 11 o'clock's tiffin. <laughs> <laughs> you dirty boy. It is. It is. You watch Carry On at the Time. Have you seen, seen the Carry On film? Where they do as... What? Carry On film. You, well, you watch Carry On Up the Kyber and you, that will tell you what Tiffin's all about. Yeah, at 11 o'clock. And at any time for Tiffin. <laughs> Those old English films. Anyway, right. We are getting on now because it's just going to degrade into some sort of ridiculous tirade from this gives Ringo more editing problems <laughs> we'll cut that bit out <laughs> so what idea is that then that's setting you back the base I've just sprayed up a barbarian shield alright oh, oh. actually to, to add a bit different colours because there's a lot of red and white Got a, a barbarian transfer from the, um, you know, I did that Celtic cavalry. I had a spare shield and a spare transfer, and the transfers has got a load of yellow, blue, and red. So then it'll add a bit more colour onto the base. So it's not just red and white. Good plan. I put lots of stones on mine, and he's going to be standing on some rocks. Maybe that's something, maybe that's something we could talk about in the next segment. We are yeah. talking about it in the next segment because we're being recorded Ooh, at this very moment. We are in no. the next segment. <laughs> don't, say, don't say tits or bum. Don't say tits or bum. Listen, we have to be very very serious at the moment because obviously we, our guest is, um, you know, as we as we've just seen with his shield idea, we know he's very professional about everything that he does. He's not a knobhead like you. What, me? I don't know, you. He's talking about you. Hey, look what, I got. look what I got today. What did you get? Ooh, a new £5 note with Winston on the back. You can see, oh, God. The unfortunate thing about that is I can see you through the money. I know, it's cool, isn't it? It's so cool. I nicked it off my mother. I that was you giving you your dinner money this morning? No, I don't get dinner money. It's really cool, though. It's, it's, anyway, you know... I, I, I'd recommend it to anyone to get one of these new fivers. I would have thought quite soon everybody will have the new fivers. It's so, it feels so nice. I don't want to spend it. That's the trouble. I want to keep it now. I was like that with pound coins when they first came out. I can't spend this till I get another one. So, well, I won't spend that one. I'll spend another one. That'll be a first. 
But it's really cool. Look at our Winnie on the back. Perfect. Are they, ch- are they changing? They're changing all the notes, aren't they? As well, it's not just that know. one. They're going to change the tenors, twenties, and fifties as well, aren't they? I think fifties are, are the worst one because for forgery and stuff like that. Isn't it? Which were the bit worse than forgery? Fifty fifty notes, I thought. I could be wrong. I'm not a forger, so I don't know. Well, you won't be able to photocopy them anymore, will you? When I, when we were kids, we used to do that. My dad, my dad had a photocopier, and when we were kids, we used to get photocopy notes, and then colour them in with with the uh, colouring pencils, and then we used to lay them outside pubs, and we watched one bloke pick it up and go, "Ooh!" <laughs> went inside the pub. <laughs> Obviously, we did it when it was dark because it was like seven o'clock at night, so it was pitch black. We just put it under a street light, so it looked perfect. But yeah, things we used to get up to when we were kids, kids. Not now. So you're getting on, Nick. You're all right. Am I getting on? With your man. Oh, what, generally? Or, yeah, with the figure. Well, at the, at the moment, I find life quite quite stressful with um, different... Oh, about the figure. Yeah. Um, I've just literally taken the intermediate photo. So um, I think me and Owen are going to take three photos, start, middle, and finish. So um, I've just taken the middle photo. So nearly all the base coats are down. I've just put the metallics on for his armour. I've still got to do his uh, uh, leg armour, whatever you call it. Greaves. 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 I've still got to put these greaves on. And then I can apply the, the washes and then go in with the highlights. As I say, I've already sort of finished the base. I've just got to put some a little t- bit of tough on it. It's going to be a first, this, isn't it? For what? Well, all the pictures that we've seen of this particular figure on the case and, and on, on, the, on the little postcard that comes in it, online and all that that we've looked at right we're about to see what julius caesar looks like brown <laughs> actually you know, I, I just want to say my my figure probably isn't historically correct the colors because i've i've Ooh. probably gone, even though it's three caesars in a day whatever you're going to call it caesar salad um uh, mine is more of a roman general so I've I've gone for artistic license. So all you uh, historical rivet counters out there, you know, just to put you in the picture. Well, mine's not Caesar. I'm not going to use him as Caesar. Is it Joe from down the road. Because when did Julius Caesar become Roman emperor? He didn't. No, he didn't. You don't know. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't Augustus the first Caesar, previously known as Octavian, which was Caesar's stepson or adopted something like when that. I say Caesar, Caesar's the term isn't it for a, for a commander yeah yeah but wasn't it cons didn't they call him consul wasn't he something like first consul of Rome or something like that I don't know I'm not particularly up on on on, on, the, on the on the reality of things I just play tabletop war games and paint little <laughs> men I know enough I know enough to be able to get get by when picking colors and selecting army lists I didn't know you was a war gamer Apparently, yeah. According to according to um, you, did I nominate you? God, I must have been completely drunk that day. Yeah, you were. I have been known to roll the bones, yes, and push lead. Careful now. I know it's very exciting <laughs> stuff. <laughs> That's why you see one of the reasons why we war gamers sort of don't really go out much and stuff is because what we do it would blow the minds of so many people that we have to keep it all secret and sort of indoors and in darkened rooms and stuff because it's just so, do you know what I mean? People's, it would just, people's minds would just explode with all the excitement of it all. You think my, my head seems quite all right at the moment. Yeah, but that's because you're in the hobby, you see. Am I? Yeah. I just do YouTube videos of me painting a figure. I know you do. I paint two figures, then I get bored and move on to another subject. This is, this is perfect for me because it's just one. Yeah, you you naturally get bored anyway because all you do is sci-fi and fantasy. Which is, oh god! What have you got against fantasy and sci-fi? I'm not twelve. Now I think we just I just think we just created a flame war. Yeah. <laughs> right, edit that bit. <laughs> no, I'm leaving that in. I'm gonna let. Right, okay. What I'll do is I'll put a link into Owen's channel so you can go and say. All your bad comments to him about being 12 and playing fantasy and sci-fi games. 
Owen, Owen. Owen, 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 you have just signed your own <laughs> death warrant. Oh, it's all right. People won't make it this far in the video. You'll be fine. No. Or it'll just be Tristan, and Tristan can handle it. So Nobody watches our videos anyway. They just sort of like put comments or thumb it up after about 30, 10 seconds or thumb it down, whatever. And then... Don't say, don't say that word because we will. I say I've got someone tro trolling me from the United States. My last, two, yeah, on my last two videos, I've got a thumbs down, and it's from America. It could be anyone. I mean, there's a lot of people in America. Well, there's more than one, isn't there? It might be. It might be uh, Donald Trump. He might be a big fan and thinks, "Oh, I don't like them too." So he's just thumbed it down. Do you not think Donald Trump's got slightly more better things to do? Not really. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> I tell you what, I'll crap him myself if he gets in bloody power. Listen, oh, no, 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 we don't do politics. We don't do politics. We don't do religion. On let's do religion as well. I don't believe in God. There you go. Who you heard it first? <laughs> no, we just don't. What we do, we do happy stuff like painting figures. Well, I think after that we better get on and finish painting our figures, then, shouldn't we? Right, and here we are. I think everybody's finished painting their little men. Um, how have you got on, Owen? Yeah, really good. Really enjoyed it. Quite quite a quick model to paint, actually. He was fairly simple, isn't he? He's not he's not overly yeah. detailed. Um, but I think the simplicity of his detail makes him a better figure, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I quite like him. He's, a, he, he's going to turn out very well when he's been dipped. Nicholas? Yeah, I, I enjoyed painting him. He was all right. Well, guess what? Guess what? They don't know anything about this yet. Look what I've got. Ha <laughs> ha! Three little boxes. Three little boxes now. <clears throat> For the next painting a day, we will be doing, and I'll put it up to camera one, can't see camera one. No, you can't, because you're on camera two. <laughs> Napoleon? Napoleon in Egypt. Oh, okay. uh -huh. So we've got three Napoleons in Egypt to do next time. So there you go. So it'll be the three Napoleons. Right there. Got a customer. Nicholas has got a customer, so we'll have to cut, and we'll come back when he's finished with his customer. You back then, Nick? Yeah. Did you sell anything? No. Just took a repair. Just took a repair in. Anyway, where were we? You were just telling us how well you'd done. What me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've, I've finished. Um, I'm just literally just about to send you the pictures. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did. No, it's a um, really nice little figure to paint. Yeah, the face is a bit um, caricature, but um, other than that, it's just pretty. I I I think his face looks pretty gormless, to be honest. Yeah. He's got a mouth like catching flies. Yeah, it's like he's shouting an order, but it doesn't yeah. quite look right. To the tea room. <laughs> no, but I think oh. I think he's uh, I think it, it's a nice little figure. Obviously, um, from the point of view of a game, you wouldn't use him as Caesar, would you? But uh, just a captain or general. Or something. He's just a nice command figure, I think. Yeah, because you got, I mean, I know they don't, didn't have brigades or anything, but he'd be something like a brigade commander. You could use him as a separate figure, brigade commander or something like that. And it's, yeah. Is that what you say? Leg it! <laughs> it could be. <laughs> so how have you enjoyed your first patent a day as a guest? It's been a pleasure sharing your company. Has it? Really? <laughs> what about what, what about sharing Nick's company? He sees me every day. Well, you've got, it's caring the community, isn't it? I know. Well, I, I keep saying this, but, you know, like I say, I, 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 I have to stress this every single time that we do one of these, that it is part of my care and the community contract to look after Nick. And um, I think we do it very well. Between you, viewers, and Owen and me, he, he does quite well, I think. Look at him, bless him. What he's trying to do now is he's trying to do that thing where he, that where he says Skype's frozen. So what we'll do is we'll sit here and wait till he blinks. Be rather boring. There you go. <laughs> well, 
there's not a lot else to talk about really. We 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 we've we've um we've done what we've done, so you've seen all the pictures. Because... It's a shame you've been edit most of it. Pardon? I mean, we did, we did sort of skim across the subjects of politics, religion, um, people playing certain games, but that might be a way to see that. But it was good fun talking about it. So people playing certain games? Yeah. Well, let's, let's recover the issue. What, what do you think about fantasy and sci-fi games? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good answer. It does float my boat. What did you say? I said it doesn't float my boat. Well... Everybody is different, aren't they? Everybody can I, is different. Can I float your boat? You what? Can I float your boat? No, you can't. You dirty little thing. <laughs> go on in, do the roundup. Right, so here's mine. Um, he's ready to go in the dip now. Um, I painted him quite flat base colours, obviously, because he's been dipped. Um, I don't like his face particularly, but there you go. I don't know anything about that. There you go. That's him. So um, we'll get him in the dip now and uh, see what he looks like. So uh, after the paint of the day is my uh, Julius. Um, obviously he's uh, he's not as classy as the others because he's just been dipped. I did him in flat colours and um, dipped him and dry varnished him, stuck a bit of grass on. So uh, that's my paint of the day. Not bad. It'll do. Um, so let's go have a look at um, Nick and Owen's uh, final Julius's. Well, thank you very much for watching. Thanks very much to Nick and Owen joining us on this paint a day, the three seasons. Hope you've enjoyed it, got something out of it, and painted a few figures. And we'll, um, as Tristan says, see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, everyone.